So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We're down here at the woodshed this morning and I'm slowly working on getting all the uh, firewood cutting and splitting done for the year and getting the wood yard all cleaned up. But in order to do so, I need to get the uh, woodshed filled up. I still got a bunch of wood to split yet, but we're definitely winding down. And then I want to get everything cleaned up down here. And that new track loader, it will be coming soon. And we're going to expand the whole wood yard operation down here. So I need to get everything cleaned up and organized and make some room so we can do some work. But we've got a, a lot to talk about today. Uh, number one, before I forget, Melissa and I, we will be at the uh, Minneapolis Sports Show at the Wallenstein booth. And that's on March 11th and March 12th. I don't think we'll be there all day on Saturday, but we will uh, we'll give you more details as it gets a little bit closer. If you plan on attending, let us know in the comments. I mentioned it the other day, and it looks like a lot of people will be there, so that'll be good. I've never been to that show before, but it sounds like it's a big one. Mostly like an outdoor show. Hunting, fishing, rural living kind of stuff. Should be pretty good. Looking forward to it. We went just a couple weeks ago there to, uh, or a month or so, to Messix. And we met a lot of you there, which was really nice. got another row of wood stacked here in the uh, woodshed this is mostly uh, red oak a little bit of cherry in there uh, this is eight feet wide in here and I have it stacked probably about I don't know you got the pallet there on the bottom probably about five and a half feet tall so the other day I published a video and in that video I included that QC mate that was that big Irwin clamp with the special jaws on it that make connecting your quick couplers very easy to do. And uh, boy, last night I went down a rabbit hole. I was on a Facebook page, I think it was Kubota Equipment Owners or something like that, and somebody had shared our video, and boy, here come the comments. There are a few, not many, but a couple guys, you know, if you can't connect your quick couplers, you shouldn't be running a machine or you don't know what you're doing, blah, 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 all this nonsense. And the bottom line is, the thing works phenomenal. It does. It works really well. And what I like to do is concentrate on comments from people that actually used it before and kind of know what they're talking about. And everybody that I saw that has had one or has one now, they love it. It works really, really well. And some people did offer some good advice on how to relieve pressure in your hydraulic lines. Now, my excavator is just a little bit different. I'll, I'll show you. Got to warm it up for a second here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, the excavator's warmed up. And by the way, to make everything active, you put that bar down right there. I wanna show you how this works. So a lot of people were saying, you know, when you shut the machine down, you can like wiggle your joysticks around to relieve the pressure. Uh, that doesn't do anything for the auxiliary hydraulics on this. These are electric over hydraulic, and you control it with this right here, and I'll show you. First, we're going to turn on the auxiliary hydraulics here. 
then to control the wedge on the log splitter, use this button right here. See? Over, back. So if you shut the machine off, you know, you can do anything you want with this. It's not doing anything with the auxiliary hydraulics out there. While we're in here, we might as well split a few. There was a uh, little bit of a learning curve with this log splitter. You wouldn't think there was because it's obviously pretty simple, but there is. And uh, one thing I like to do is keep everything closer to the ground and it stays lined up the way you want it. Occasionally you have to turn one a little bit. You just give a little bump like so, go down on it, and split. And it splits both ways as you can see. Easy peasy. I could do this all day. Now what I like to do is just kind of reach out. I'll give it a little pinch, but not hard enough to split it. Put it where I want it. A little spin move there. That'll make some beautiful bundle wood. So that's uh, pretty much the story on the uh, excavator. But yeah, that QC mate, I'm telling you what, it works like a dream. I will put a uh, link in the description and probably pin a comment. And like I said, I like to focus on the comments from people that have actually used things and you get uh, pretty good feedback from them. Oh, and by the way, we got a delivery yesterday, and it wasn't for me. It was for Melissa. Uh, she got a new heat press for making shirts and hoodies and all that stuff. She had a pretty decent one, uh, but she's been making so many. We kind of got a commercial one, I guess you could say. A pretty nice machine, and they delivered it yesterday. Got it in the house. Now i got to get a nice table for it or build something. It's pretty heavy. I don't know what it weighs, 250 pounds or something. But, yeah, it's first time in a long time that a tractor trailer showed up with something that wasn't for me, so that's good. I'm going to uh, split some more bundle wood here, finish off this basket, and then uh, I got Levi out running around picking some things up right now. When he gets back, he's gonna come down and we'll split some more firewood to replenish what I just took out of the wood bunker right there. I'm not sure how much wood we're gonna end up with. And you know, we're not gonna stop cutting wood by any means, but uh, I'll get the wood yard all cleaned up and we'll kind of split on and off throughout the year. And uh, we've got a lot of big plans for this year. We do. A lot of things going to be happening. Don't you just love this wood right here? Red oak. Beautiful. Bark free. Premium bundle wood. That's what that is. Actually, ultra premium. Who knows, this may become the new currency here soon, the way things are going. All right, so I got that uh, basket almost filled up there with bundle wood. Levi just came down. We're going to split a bunch of that stuff up on the other side of the uh, conveyor. But you and Ty have been uh, busy with the maple syrup, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, he's having a blast. It's been a lot of fun. 
Uh, the weather's been perfect. You know, it's cold at night, warms up during the day, so it thaws out. Now, you put one video out so far on your channel, right? Yeah, yeah, we just put a video out a couple of days ago of uh, the tapping and everything, kind of preparing for it, so. And you, yeah. you're kind of doing a different way of boiling this year? A uh, little bit, yeah. Um, I got a new pan, that's nice. Got a real, uh, it's a bigger surface area, and that's what it comes down to, you know. Some people, well, the first year I did it, I did it in a turkey fryer, and it works, but it's all about the surface area when it comes to boiling, you know. If you have that pan, uh, like I got this year, it's much wider. So it's two feet by three feet. So it's gonna boil faster and, and that's what it's been doing. So yeah, I'll put yeah. Uh, their video up above if you want to check that one out. And uh, it's just great. Ty loves doing it too, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, I don't know. I think I, I think I showed you that video. We were out when we were putting the buckets on the trees. He puts someone over his head and he's just walking <laughs> through the woods with the five gallon bucket on his head. <laughs> he's nuts, yeah. He loves being outside though, doesn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. and it. We were out uh, like probably a week ago now. It was raining real hard. It was just muddy, muddy mess, you know. And uh, he was out there for like two hours with me. Just he had his raincoat on, rain boots, and he's good to go. Couldn't be happier. Yeah. Well, it's a nice day to split some wood. Let's uh, fire up the splitter here. We'll knock this out. We got some more wood split. Uh, we definitely replaced everything I took out of there this morning. But Levi was saying you don't realize how big those rounds are until you uh, you're still lifting them to the splitter. Yeah, I saw them when they were stacked. You know, before you started splitting them, and I could tell they were big. But when you're dealing with pieces of them, they're still huge. It's crazy. Yeah, and it, at best, it's one quarter of a round. Some of them I hit right. more than that, and they're still big and heavy. But yeah. uh, I can always say, this is oak. This is not your typical West Coast featherwood. This is heavy stuff right here. But uh, before we wrap this video up, a couple things. Don't forget, check out Levi and Kate's channel, Tied Up with the Morgans. And you can see his maple syrup video and shirts i'll put a link in the description and also that qc mate if you're interested in one of those like i said the other day that thing will change your life but anyway like I always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks mm -hmm.